Hey what's up YouTube, welcome back, my name is LFX. Now I'm sorry about the lack of uploads for the last 5 days, there's been a few things going on, uh, nothing bad, just some party that uh, happened and I've just been busy and um, so yeah, um, so as you can see from the title today we're going to be talking about the three titans in the first titanfall. Now, I know I didn't own the first Titanfall, as I am a PlayStation player and I never had a PC at the time of 2014 when Titanfall came out, so I didn't have the amazing opportunity to own the first Titanfall, yet I have played it and I have had my hands on all three of the Titans. So what I can say from my experience is that they are very fun to use. They handle very differently to the Titans off of Titanfall 2, as the Titans in Titanfall 1 are more of a chassis than an actual living, breathing human in an aspect, as in Titanfall 2 Titans, they are very personalised, um, well they have a personality, that's what I mean, and they have their own equipment and things that they can use. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first Titan we're going to be talking about is my favourite Titan, and I can admit it's probably some other people's favourite Titans, the Atlas Titan. The Atlas Titan is one of the three default Titans in Titanfall. The Atlas is the starring Titan for all players, and functions as a balance between speed and armour. Summary: The Atlas Titan was, first, was the first Titan produced by Hammond Robotics, and is the workhouse of any Titan fleet. Through it, it is more mobile than the Ogre, it's more armoured than the Strider, sitting right in the middle of the group in terms of ability and talents. The Atlas has entered through an entry point in the chest, which opens for pilots upon request. The Titan has an emergency hatch in the top, which functions both as an emergency entrance and ejection port. According to the Respawn reveal video for the Atlas, it is the oldest of the Titans, which began the development of the Ogre and Strider models. Acquisition The Atlas Titan is the first Titan available to new players, serving as a well-rounded introduction. It can be used from the get-go. The Atlas Refurb Burn card can be used immediately to call down Atlas. Atlas Stats the base health of Atlas is 8000, meaning it is more than the Strider, but less than the Ogre. The crouch speed is 150, the stand speed is 280, the sprint speed is 420, I'm mature as hell, dang, of course I had to say it, and the melee damage is 1000. Trivia. In Greek mythology, Atlas was one of the Titans, primordial beings who predated the Greek gods. After the Titans lost the war against the gods, Atlas was punished by Zeus, god of the sky and thunder, and father of the gods. While most of the Titans were imprisoned, Atlas was made to hold Uranus, ha, or Uranus, the sky, away from Gaia, the earth. As the union of the two was what had had to create the Titans, the immortality of Atlas named itself remains uncertain. The naming of this particular Titan likely derives from its ability to deal increased damage, drawing a parallel to the immense strength of Atlas himself. So that was the Atlas Titan, a very good Titan, and it's a rounded jack of all trades type Titan between the Strider and the Ogre. Personally, my favourite looking and dealing Titan. I did make a video on this, saying that he might be in Titanfall 2, um, because there were some things. I was sort of right by saying this. Um, uh, it's the Vanguard Titan that will be coming to multiplayer. They said they haven't revealed it's the Vanguard Titan, but we all know it is. Leaked information has been revealed to actually say that it's the Vanguard Titan with loads of abilities. So, I was sort of right, okay, so shut up. So, yeah. Next up is the Bounding, the Powerful, the Almighty Ogre. <laughs> okay, well, the Ogre is one of the three default Titans in Titanfall. The Ogre is the heaviest of the three, a slow-moving wall of steel which serves as a brutal instrument of war. Acquisition Players will unlock the Ogre Titan after playing through both the IMC and MCOR campaigns. They can get the last Titan to be unlocked for all players. The order in which the campaigns are completed does not matter. I don't care. A one-time use Ogre can be called down using the Reserve Ogre Burn card. Ogre Stats The base health is 10,500 or 10,500. So that is significantly higher than the Atlas, which has 8,000 health. The 
crouch speed is 112, the stand speed is 265, the sprint speed is 400, and the melee damage is 1785. Once again, 875 more damage than the Atlas. Tips and strategy. The Ogre is the slowest of the Titans, and the most durable. As an Ogre, you can soak more damage than the most, and have the most powerful melee. However, just because you have thicker slabs of metal surrounding you, doesn't make you invincible. An Ogre will be a slow moving target, and other players will attempt to keep their distance so you can't use your powerful punches. Conserve your dashes, you have one and you should be careful with it. Try to avoid charging headlong into the enemy, rather flank whenever possible, and try to attack from the sides of rear. This serves true with any Titan, but the Ogre lacks the maneuverability of the others. You want to be a, quote, fat ninja, <laughs> that's, that's me, appearing without warning, and overwhelming them with your superior bulk. Alternative, alternatively, you can serve as a sort of tanky support, leading the change and drawing aggro while your teammates advance or strike from other angles. So that was the Ogre Titan, pretty cool Titan. Now just as a little button before we go on to the Strider, the three Titans are actually modelled after all six Titans that are in Titanfall 2. So you got Tone and you got Ion, which are based after Atlas, both being medium type Titans that can run fast, have one dash instead of two, and they are an they have many things that are like Atlas. They have Scorch and Legion, both heavy Titans. They don't have a dash at all. Obviously, Ogre has a dash, but they don't have a dash at all. They're tanky support titans, and Scorch looks a bit like Ogre, in a way. Um, and then the Strider. Strider looks a hell of a lot like Ronin, and North Star. It doesn't look like North Star, but it looks a hell of a lot like Ronin. They're both light titans. They have two dashes, and they can move very, very quickly. Well, that was just an intervene. Let's move on. So last and least, <laughs> uh, you could say, the, the Strider. Now the Strider is not the favourite of most people, since it can be outbeaten by both the Atlas and the Ogre. It wasn't the favourites of most people's Titans. People really liked Atlas, and they really liked Ogre. Strider was the weak man out of all of the Titans, yet it still can hold up a fight. So the Strider is one of the three default Titans in Titanfall quickest and most lightly armoured of the Titans. The Strider puts an emphasis on mobility. Acquisition. The Strider is unlocked after the player completes either the IMC or MCOR campaign. Playing through the other afterwards will unlock the Ogre. It does not matter which is completed first. So the Strider, you only have to complete one of the two campaigns, yet with the Ogre, you have to complete both two. Now campaign is a very big quotation marks on that. Campaign. Okay. Strider stats. Base health, 5,500. Oh my god, that is so lower than the titan, uh, the other Titans. Like, 10,500 for the Ogre, and 8,000 for the Atlas, and then 5,500. You could kill a Strider with like four melees from the Ogre. That's probably why it isn't maneuverable. Crouch speed is 187, stand speed is 300, sprint speed is 435, which is really high, and melee damage is 1125, which is actually higher than the Atlas, surprisingly. Well, okay then. Tips and strategy. The Strider is the most lightly armoured of the Titans, sacrificing durability for increased mobility. As a Strider, you can dash three times, giving you more maneuverability around enemy Titans. The Strider actually deals more melee damage than the Atlas, which is what I said, it's really surprising. Like with all the Titans, avoid engaging head-on when possible. Instead, attacking from the sides or rear, try dashing in and out of cover and avoid being caught out in the open. So that was all three of the first Titanfall's Titans. Some of the most interesting ever robots I've seen in video games. Now there are a few actual points that I did want to say at the end of the video just before I go. So I do hope you actually enjoyed this. I really enjoy making these. I'm sorry, once again, I haven't uploaded for five days. But with the first person type mechanics, I absolutely loved that. And with Titanfall 2, it takes away the immersion. When you get into a Titan, you jump into third person mode. 
uh, for executions when it comes to the Titans and both the pilots, they're fun to see and watch. But getting into a Titan, I prefer to get in than watch my character get in. Figure out what I mean. And you can agree with me again when it breaks the immersion. The reason why Titanfall 2 and Respawn decided not to have first person Titan animations was for three reasons. The first being that there were many visual glitches when you actually jumped in, but being two years after the first game's released, I'm sure they could have fixed that. The second reason is because people couldn't see around their Titans. If you jumped into a Titan and it was first person view only, Titans around you could see you and maybe get an advantage on you, so that was another reason. And the third reason is many people, it made them, especially on PC, the motion blur absolutely killed their eyes. Like, the, 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 I can't see that. Uh, many people suffer from motion sickness. Now, Titanfall 2 alternatively actually fixed this with the FOV. That's another reason why they probably didn't add it in Titanfall 2. The FOV, imagine having a 110 FOV jumping into a Titan. Things are going to look very visually weird. But if they fix that, it could be a very good orientation. As well, the th first three Titans, I actually prefer creating a class for Titans rather than having Titans with individual powers. Because you can see an Atlas and not know what he's going to hit you with. See an Ogre, same thing. But in Titanfall 2, you see a Ronin and you know to back off. A lot of people like that. They say, oh, you know how to prepare for the fight, both of you. But I don't like to be able to prepare for a Titan fight. I want to jump in there and see what happens. As well, they took away a few of the guns from Titanfall 1, including the laser beam rifle, the quad launcher, and the XO-16 machine gun. Obviously the XO-16 machine gun is returning in with the DLC, which includes the Vanguard Titan, but still, I loved the laser gun and the quad launcher when I used them. They were some of the most fun. Well, other than that guys, it has been LFX. I have been continuously going on, but I, I have a lot of points to share with the Titans from Titanfall 1 and 2. So I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, Make sure to hit the bell notification next to my channel as well, because the adpocalypse has been upon us. I don't really mind about that. I'm really not on YouTube for the money at the time, because, well, there's none anyway, and I'm just trying to grow my channel. So supporting me by subscribing will really help out. With that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling While I'm drinking Bud Light Uh, can you get it when you miss me? Like I'm with whiskey, drinking gin